Hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and you're watching the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled, The Preacher's Wife. Well, she's not appointed, but expected to serve. Rarely mentioned, but ever present. I speak, of course, of the minister's wife. Now, in normal circumstances, the congregation usually sees her as an adjunct to her husband's ministry. But preacher's wives provide elements not usually seen or understood by those who have not been there themselves. For example, she bears many burdens. You know, all of us should bear each other's burdens, the Bible says, Galatians chapter 6, verse 2. And the preacher usually has a greater share because of his work. For this, he receives his livelihood and the appreciation of the brethren. But few people realize, however, that the preacher's ability to carry the burdens of others is proportional to the ministry he in turn receives from his wife, who shares all of the burdens that he carries. Number two, she, uh, she creates a home. You know, Christians are pilgrims here on earth and no one is more aware of this than a preacher's wife. She's called upon to move approximately once every three to five years and create a home that will service changing circumstances and people and still provide warmth, love, as well as the element of stability. No easy task when the moving boxes are always in the garage. And finally, she suffers quietly. When your life is public, your suffering usually is private, and the preacher's wives have long ago learned the virtue of turning the other cheek in order to stem the cycle of gossip and division. In this world, the preacher usually gets the credit for church growth, which rightfully belongs to the Lord. But in our hearts, we know who deserves this crown. Well, I'm Mike Mazzalongo. You have been watching the Bible Talk video blog. We hope you'll come back often. See you then. Bye-bye.